Hello, this video by NatalPointers.com will show you how to make this towel topper using a kitchen towel and a pot there holder. I have a towel, the pot holder. You will need a button and a marking pencil and a ruler. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the towel, fold it in half. and press it right along the fold. This will be your guide for your gathering stitches that you're going to be doing because you're going to be gathering the tail to the size of the pothole. I want to mention now I will be folding it this way because the little tab is in the middle. Some pot holders have a tab on the side. If that was so, you would fold it this way with the tab here. We're going to go to the sewing machine and I'm going to put a gathering stitch down along there. Okay, you want the longest stitch that you have on your machine for gathering. Also make sure that you have a nice uh, length of tail from your machine. Uh, both the bobbin thread and the upper thread of the machine. And we're going to baste along the line that we just ironed. Okay, the next step is going to be that we're going to gather this, but I need to go over back over so that I can show you we have to gather it the size of the pot holder. Okay. Uh, when we get when you gather, you're going to take the uh, thread. And this is the top one here, and just pull it to gather along there. You can do the other side, but also make sure that you do the same one, the top one. Okay. I'm getting close. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the, the other thread up from the bottom, and I'm going to knot this side. That helps the gathers to stay in place and they won't come off this side. Okay, we need to pull it just a little bit more. And do the same thing on this side. Bring the bottom thread up. And if you have trouble, you can use a pen to help you. Tie it in place. Let's measure our pot holder so we can find the center of it. Okay, so and we're going to mark it. Draw a line. Now, sort of have your gathers um, sort of equal going across. 
we're going to place the pot holder right on the top where the gathering lines are and pin it in place. I'm doing this wrong. We need to have the right side up on the pot holder. See? Now we can pin it in place. The right side up on the towel. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew along this line here using a regular standard uh, sewing stitch. Don't forget to back tack when you're doing this because you don't want the towel to come out. Okay, so that's what we have so far. The last step would be to sew a button on to it right, right there, which I'm not going to show you how to do that. I think that you can do that yourself, uh, but you would sew a button. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit us on Facebook at Needle Pointers visit our website needlepointers.com for more sewing information and free projects. This is the button that I was going to use for it. And okay, one last thing is please make sure that the button does fit in the pot holder loop.